Hey everybody, welcome to the Velocity Channel and this is your bridge to financial freedom. Today we have an amazing episode for you because we're going to show you how that I know you don't think you can get those gifts for you know, whoever it is, right, that you want to get those gifts for, for this Christmas. But I'm going to show you how that you can. And I've got to be honest with you, it's going to look like I'm pushing irresponsibility. But you'll see within the within the video, that I'm actually going to be pushing genius. All right. So listen, before we get into that, I want you to like, share and subscribe so that you too, right, can be a part in a financial revolution that's taking place all around the world. All right. Now, Let's get into this, all right? We do have some numbers here for you, all right? Xbox, PlayStation, um, all of these things, uh, things that cost over $1,000, over $2,000, and you have your credit card there just sitting, collecting dust because you were told to, you know, cut your credit cards up, or you were told to not use your credit cards or only use them in an emergency. Listen. I'm not saying that that's, that's good advice. I'm not saying that that's bad advice. All I'm saying is, if you sit on leverage, it's going to bite you and it's gonna hurt a lot. So let me show you how you can allocate your finances in a way that not only will you be awesome at Velocity Banking, but you're also never going to be afraid of credit cards again. Is that okay? All right, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and leave some examples right now. All right. We got it. We got those nephews. We got those kids. We got those grandkids. We got people we love. We got our community, right? They, they want those Christmas gifts. And we know it's not all about gifts, right? However, gifts are nice, right? We got an Xbox. Let's just say it costs $2,500. Absolutely. Inflation is a booger, isn't it? Listen, PlayStation. Let's just say that's also $2,500. And then a lot of people are thinking, man, I'm not ever going to spend $5,000 on anyone. Okay. The purpose of this video is to make sure that you're never afraid to spend $5,000 on anyone ever again. All right. Let's go ahead and say you've got a line of credit of $10,000. You got an income of $5,000 each month and regularly, right, on average, you got expenses of $3,000. That's going to leave $2,000, 5 minus 3. $2,000 of cash flow for you. Now, can you get both the PlayStation and the Xbox? It's going to be a total of $5,000 with this line of credit. Okay. Now, even though you're going to be at 50% credit utilization, right? So I don't recommend this if you are looking uh, to increase your credit score, right? But remember, credit scores go up and down and this can easily go back up. Remember, folks, of the season, the Christmas season, all right? Sometimes you do things out of the normal. So let's say you go ahead and you buy both the Xbox and the PlayStation. Now you're at $5,000 balance. But wait a minute. It's only a concern if you segregate your income. But if you pay not only this, but your expenses as well, and you place your income, that $5,000, into your line, it's no longer a concern. You know why? Because even though you have that $5,000 balance, when you get paid, this is so powerful. When you get paid, you're going to place the $5,000 back into the line. And what is the credit card company going to do? They're going to credit that as a payment. You don't have any minimum monthly payment due. And I know you may be thinking, yes, but I do have expenses. You sure do. How much are your expenses? On average, $3,000. Even if it went up to $4,000, you would still have $1,000 in cash flow. Now, knowing that your income is $5,000 and that your expenses are $3,000, $2,000 is staying where? If you set your line of credit, give yourself a gold star, all right? It's staying right here and it's going to be paying off. Now, remember, $5,000 was the balance, right? 
So let's go ahead and put this right here, $5,000. We're going to divide that by $2,000. And I'm going to show you why I'm doing that because we want to know when we're going to pay this off. So let's go ahead and know. It's called the velocity term. You always put your balance here divided by the cash flow. So B divided by C is going to equal V, your velocity term, okay? That means how many months it takes to pay this off. So let's go ahead and do this, okay? Remember your balance was 5,000 divided by 2,000. We cross out. Now, where did the 2,000 come from? That's your cash flow, 5,000 minus 3,000. Because remember, you're using your income. You're going to be placing it inside of your line of credit, and then you're going to be using your line of credit to pay the expenses as well. So, 5 divided by 2 is what? Two and a half? Two and a half months to pay off a $5,000 systems, right? $2,500 plus $2,500 with a $5,000 a month salary. And you thought you couldn't afford it. And you got scared and you're, some people are scared because of the interest, right? Some people are scared because of the fees. What fees? Listen, in about two and a half months, it's gone. Those payments are gone because you know how to allocate your finances for this Christmas. So your significant other doesn't have to be disappointed. Your children don't have to be disappointed, right? And no one can go without. You can get that Xbox now. Hey, listen, and I'm not saying to do it, but I'm saying you don't have to be afraid to do it. Not anymore, okay? Because you're using your leverage. Now, somebody told me, man, what if you don't have debt? Can you use Velocity Banking to for something else to build wealth? As a matter of fact, I learned this in a real estate education class. What were they doing? They're using velocity banking to build wealth. They're using velocity banking. They're using their lines of credit to get assets. That's what velocity banking is supposed to be for. Yeah. So instead of, right? So let's just place this. Let's place a house in here or a down payment hmm? or you know, anything, real estate, let's put it as 5,000. Guess what? So not only are you uh, able to pay your line of credit off, right, quickly, you can now make money from the asset that you spent $5,000 on. Thank you so much for that question. That's what you use your credit cards for. Did you know that? That's what you're supposed to be using your credit cards for. That's what you're supposed to be using your HELOC for. Come on, homeowners. That's what you're supposed to be using your line of credit for. That's what you're supposed to be using your business HELOCs for. That's what you're supposed to be using your lines of credit, your personal lines of credit for. Assets. Stocks. Bitcoin. Commodities. I don't know about those. Listen, there are no bad investments because the truth is people are making money whether the market is up, down, sideways. It's just uninformed investors. And that's where we come in. Okay, that's where you come in. Start learning so that you can stop consuming and start lending. I want you to be the bank. That's why we put all this up. So that you can be the bank. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Please, please go ahead and copy this if you want. Absolutely. And make sure that you're following it to the T. If you need help with this, that's why we're here. And if you don't want to write it down anymore, we even have an automated velocity banking system. Just talk to us and we'll hook you up. God bless you. Have a Merry Christmas and take care.